Welcome to readyticket.com. This is part two of how to investigate the reverse engineer of a Charles Lena cycle forecast. Once again, we have no association with Charles Lena. We're only reviewing data which is freely available on the web. Thank you. Right, um, this is the uh, image taken from the Charles Lena website. It is an image of a out chart which is the output of the Cycle Foundation software called TechSignal. I recognize this because I uh, once owned the software. And here we have four cycles, a short, a very short one, a medium, and a long one. So these cycles are probably uh, selected before their statistical significance, that, that, they, that they are dominant, and um, they, are the, they would be the ingredients of the forecast line, which is most likely the summation of this line, of these four cycles to, as to one line. There may be other calculations, I mean, take into account the fundamentals on how to do cycle forecasting. So how to find these cycles, for example. We've got four cycles here. How, would, how can we find our, our cycles in a new data set? First way to do it is just simply using your eyeballs. Looking at the data like this. For example, here's the apple chart. You select a significant bottom or a significant top. Uh, Readyticket.com members can select two bottoms. And there you get the uh, cycle tool, this is a manual cycle tool, and as you see I selected those two bottoms there, gives me a third bottom there, a fourth one there, a fifth one there, and a sixth one there, that's actually not too bad. So therefore you would uh, find the bar number between these two green lines, work out the cycle half period, and probably most likely a cycle period of between two lines. And you can do exactly the same for two tops. Okay. So there we get a couple of tops here, one, two, three. Okay, not, not as statistically significant, but then again, still good. Right, so um, the other thing you have to remember when looking at cycles is that uh, you're looking at the data set, you're looking at the trees, and you're going back out to look at the forest, then you're going back and look at the trees. You've got to use common sense, so a pure mathematical calculation of cycle forecasting is uh, I don't believe can be achieved because you really have to throw in some common sense and gut intu intuition to get a true cycle forecast because I believe maths can't do everything so uh, the other, like I said the other method is to use maths to find uh, cycles which is a lot quicker and it takes a lot of the hard work out of it uh, once again the eyeballs can't do everything so it's a merger of the two sciences one a bit of art and a bit of science Okay, now the software required to um, find cycles must have at least six functionalities. Be able to loop through a range of periods, be able to handle a short and a long data period, say a year to 30 years, obviously produce a statistical output. Um, once the output is, is produced per cycle, you might have um, data statistics for 10, 15 cycles. You have to be able to select the cycles you want to combine. So you might have 10, you only want to select 3. And also once the cycle is output, you might want to move the cycle 5 days forward or 5 days back. A displacement. Just to fit in with the major pivot points, it can't be rigid. And of course, once you've got your final output of your cycle forecast or your group of cycles, you have to have some technical tools, MACD, some sort of uh, detrending oscillator or basic price action confirm that actual psych, uh, price action is working with the cycle and acting with it. Because obviously price can do its own thing and completely ignore the cycle. Then obviously the cycle wouldn't be dominant. The um, cycle foundation are not maintaining tech signal anymore as you can see. As stated before, Richard Mogi, the developer of tech signal, has now moved to CMF, CMFF. I assume he's still running the software in the service he's providing with this website. Um, he was the developer of uh, TechSignal. And I was I actually had a copy of it before it stopped working. This is the um, working page of TechSignal, 2011 version, developer by Richard Mogi, written in VB6. Probably wouldn't work on most systems today. 
Now, what, it would, what you do is, um, actually, I think I've got a lot of larger version too. Right, here we are. This is probably a lot easier to see. Okay, right. So what the data would do, you load up the data set before. You might select 10 years, 5 years, 3 months, what have you. It automatically runs a uh, through the uh, cycle periods 1 to 50, 1 to 500. And here's the output. Here's the cycle period here on my cursor. Um, here we have a cycle period there. Here we have our bar tails output. So the lower the bar tails number, the more significant the cycle to the price series. Here's the amplitude. That's the um, the height of the cycle as it swings and peak to trough. You want a nice amplitude to know it's working. Here's the phase. I think that's the um, the split between the peak and trough. And here's adjustments that can that can be made to the cycle. This um, choose, like I said before, is you might have a cycle output of 10, 15 cycles, but you only want to select three or four of them. In this example here. Uh, this was a how-to question put forward to the um, to the website, and the individual selected all these cycles here. But as you can see, he selected a lot of sixes and sevens together. We only really needs to select one because uh, there's only one dominant cycle between the seven, eight, and six, and that'd probably be the uh, the six. So you have to, you have to have a small, medium, large type approach to cycles. You don't want to select all the small cycles. And ignore the large, you don't want to select all the large and ignore the small. It's a common sense approach. Um, so this is the output of the tech signal chart, and as you can see, this this chart is, is exactly the same as this chart here. This is the same output from the tech signal software. So this is what was used by Richard Mogi, developed by him to study cycles. Find the bar tail significant cycles, merge them to determine price action, and he had a few technical tools um, to see where the price was behaving. As I stated before, is that um, um, cycles, the cycle logic and fundamental approach should be taken in large, medium, small, and very small. You can't all work with very smalls and all very large. You just don't get a time frame. For example, here. Um, I'll give you an example of one chap at this website here. He's actually working um, with a range of cycles. And he describes it here. Here he has a kitchen cycle, a third of the kitchen cycle, and the wall cycle. So as you can see, this is the long, this is the medium, this is the short. And he would trade the long by buying the dips on the short. That's exactly how Jim Hurst would have worked. He would have found the dominant cycle, which might have been a longer time frame of 80 periods or 120 periods. And then when he would have taken the 80 or 120 period cycle, which was he knew to be dominant, statistically significant, and divide it by a third, and he would use this, the smaller swinging cycle to trade the dips in the long cycle time frame. As I've got down here, uh, dominant cycle, full, half a third. So if you read Jim Hurst's book, that's exactly the output you would get. So here's a year cycle. You might, you might have a long cycle, 360, 180, 90, 45. Once you run the Bartel test, you might find the cycle might be 32, 86, 120, 250. So whatever fits for the data, because not everything is exactly the same. Okay, the um, tech signal ultimate. Uh, software package that I showed you used to sell for a 4,000 plus USD. Ujaticket.com has cycle tools that can do all the calculations that TechSignal does. And through our tools like Cycle Finder Spectrum, Cycle Drawing Object, Cycle Display, the Hearst DPO, the Hearst ROC. Believe it or not, this is only 16 US dollars per month as we are really trying to maintain uh, low prices to uh, make the site pay for itself. In part three, we'll demonstrate readtheticket.com cycle tools in action using the principles discussed here, um, finding dominant cycles, long, medium, short, um, 
to actually then we'll merge them together and see what the outcome is. Thanks for watching.